this is Jimmy the Font Meister and today we're going to talk about creating font families. This is the quick start version and I'm calling it the quick start version because you can make complicated font families but the theory today is going to be that we need to work from the simple to the complex. We're going to demonstrate this using a Windows version of Photographer and Windows only recognizes four members for a font family regular, bold, bold italic, and italic. Now even if you were creating a font on a Macintosh, uh, we still believe the best thing to do is to go from the simple to the complex until you learn how to know what you're doing making font families. So let's follow these steps to create a Windows font family. We'd go to Element, Font Info, and give the uh, font family a name, and then we would select the weight for the patriarch of the family it's going to be regular or normal. If you leave this checkbox on you're going to build all the internal font names automatically and so um, you would go ahead and click OK and then uh, just generate the font and install it. Now you've got your patriarch done. What you do next is you can just for the sake of argument come in here select everything change the weight and make the font bolder and then generate the bold version alright now you would click OK generate that font you could come back and do element transform and skew the font to create the italic now notice when you go to element font info during this whole process, the family name always stays the same. It's the style that changes. Okay? Now, that would be the italic. If you want both at once, you'd have bold and italic. So you've generated your normal, your bold, your bold italic, and your italic. You generate that font and install it. And let's see what it looks like in Microsoft Word. You just find the patriarch on the... Uh, font menu and you use the styling buttons to make sure that your font is working properly okay now if you don't have your parameters set properly then what will happen is that uh, some products will give you a fake bold or fake italic um, products such as InDesign will not allow you to give a fake and when you look on the menu you will, you will see uh, in InDesign that you don't have any other uh, options except the normal weight of the font. Now you can make other font family members uh, besides the four core members but just keep in mind they're going to have a different family name uh, and they will not be part of the family and they will not work with the style linking buttons. Here's an additional note for users who are creating a font family on Macintosh Fontarifer. You'll remember that we said that the PC only allows four members in a family. That's not true on a Macintosh. You can come down here after you've changed the shape of your characters and choose different weights that will all be part of the same family and generate the font and you'll see it on the menu as long as all these uh, fonts in the family have the same family name. So if we go into some application and uh, take a look at the font menu, we see we have our regular italic, bold, bold italic, and thin. Really, that's all you need to know about making font families just to get started. As always, let us know if you have any other topics you'd like to see covered or if you want to see more details on making fa font families. And refer to your user guide for more details.